Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 93 for learning management system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to create a support page, right? So if you see the, the first video of this uh, series, then I have defined all the feature that what we are going to create, right? So these are the first thing that we are going, uh, that we need to add in the website. We have, uh, we have uh, added the uh, category, we are showing the categories, we are uh, implemented the search, we have implemented the about us, contact us, FAQ page. So student can join and enroll in the course, uh, teacher can join and upload content. Now only thing is uh, pending the support page, right? So support page similar to the contact page, right? What we need to do, we will merge the contact and support in one. So uh, uh, what I will do here in the contact, I will uh, I will move to the left and then in the right section, I will add the address, phone number or uh, the things that uh, uh, from, uh, so at the user end, user can see these uh, things and uh, uh, the administrator can support them, right? So let's open the, uh, this, uh, let's open this uh, page. So source, component and contact us page, right? So here we have a contact us. So this is offset. So what I will do here. Okay, so this is uh, like seven. Okay. And uh, we will create another div that will be five. Right. So this is five. Okay. Right. So here what I will do, I will define the things. Let's say this will be address. Okay. And uh, address have little bit of border, border bottom. Okay. And uh, let's see how it will look. It will look like this. Okay. Let's make this eight. Okay. And this is four. All right. So this is okay. One we can do one more thing. Seven and give it offset. Offset one right so this is fine now okay so address now what we will do we will define a ul and in the ul we will define a list right and in the list we will say first thing we will say label right so label okay in the label we will say uh, address okay address and then after that uh, in the address and then we will in the span tag we will say house number or you can say uh, any address like 50 green avenue green avenue new delhi okay so this is the address right so this is fine okay so what we need to do i will define a class or we can say just uh, say list group okay and define uh, we can say this uh, let's say what we have defined here Okay, let's go to the get bootstrap. Okay, so let's go to 5.1. Let's go to list, list group. This is kind of list group, but uh, we don't need this. Link and buttons, flush, numbered, uh, horizontal, no, conceptual, no. With badges, custom content, no checkboxes and radio, no. Okay, uh, what we need to do, I will define a style here. Style equal to, let's say, list style. List style none. Okay, or we can say, list style none no ok 
Okay, let's remove this style. Say list style. Okay, and we will define here list style. So, what will be the list style? Equal to let's say list style none all right so what is this okay this should be constant all right so let's go to contact us here you can see that and let's define one more thing so with this way you can define the styling margin we can do margin bottom zero at here just add class class name equal to m0 p0 so margin 0 padding 0 right so address is here and we will add nbsp and space what it is here what nb nbsp and blank space okay so address is this and we can add one more thing font weight bold okay so address is this all right so now for the another list we will say mobile number mobile and we will add here the mobile number so let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine this one so this will be the mobile number right and uh, what else okay uh, without nbsp let's add here margin start 2 All right so it will be 16 pixel i think okay 8 pixel okay address mobile and uh, what else we need to do uh, this is address mobile what more we can do let's say phone so it will be the landline 